As you read in chapter five, comments are spaces to write that are linked to coded segments. Technically speaking, they're not independent components because they cannot be acted upon separately from the coded segments that they're linked to. However, we do think of them as components because the analytic use to which they're put in many research projects is central to the process of qualitative analysis. In this video, we show you what comments look like and the actions that can be taken on them. Like all components, there are common actions that can be taken on comments, but because comments aren't independent components in their own right, there are some exceptions. For example, although we can create comments at any time, we cannot actually name or rename them like we can other components, because they're inseparable from coded segments. We can search the content of comments, however, and we can write within them. Indeed, of course, that's their main purpose. We can visualise comments, but only in, associ in association with the coded segments that they're linked to. So to repeat, because comments are inseparable from the coded segments that they're linked to, they cannot be acted upon independently. So here I've got a document open showing some coding stripes in the margin area. And as we can see, three of the coded segments have comments associated with them already. I can see that because the brackets in the margin area have filled in circles in the middle, and that's the visual identifier that a coded segment has a comment associated with it. If I hover my cursor over one of those coded segments in the margin, then a flag comes up showing me the content of the comment that has been linked at that position. And of course, opening and editing a comment from the margin view is a simple process of double clicking. But as you'll know from reading chapter five, there is a limit, limit to the amount of text that you can write in a comment. It's currently 127 characters. So the comments that you write need to be succinct. Because comments are linked to coded segments, when we retrieve coded segments, the comments are shown also. Let's just have a look at that. I'm just going to open up uh, this uh, code here uh, to retrieve the coded segments. Uh, and you'll see uh, that several of these coded segments already have comments uh, associated uh, with them. Uh, and I can also edit uh, a comment uh, and change it from this position. as well as doing so in the margin area associated with a document. From this position, of course, I can also export in various ways. I'll just show you that exporting also brings the comments associated with the coded segments. Here I've just exported to HML quickly, and you can see the comments as well as various other information about each exported coded segment. So those are the main things to know about comments, but of course there are a few implications on how comments work arising from them being inseparable from coded segments. First of all, there is no separate place in MaxQDA where all comments are listed together irrespective of the coded segments to which they're linked. What I mean by that is that you don't see an area at the top, a main menu item for comments, you can only access comments in the ways I've shown you from the coded segments. Of course, the status of comments also means that you have to create a coded segments in order to use the comment feature. So you can't select a new segment uh, and uh, right click and add a comment there without first coding it. Finally, as we can see by going back to the first document I showed you, if the same segment has been coded to several codes, as is, as is the case here, you can see that the comment is linked to only one of those coded segments, in this instance to the informal effects of social code. So that comment will only be retrievable when I retrieve 
the coded segment, the segment that's been linked to that code, not the other codes at this position. So for example, if I open up family support, which also sits at this same segment, then you will see that that particular uh, coded segment does not have uh, the comment linked to it. Here we can see that. So effectively, we've got three coded segments uh, at this position in the data, and the comment is only attached to one of those coded segments. So each of them can have a separate comment. This means that we have to think carefully about how we're using this feature in order to be able to easily access the comments when we need them later on. As discussed in chapter five, there are several writing spaces in MaxQDA, and there are videos on memos and summaries, as well as this one on comments. So please read from page 93 about different kinds of writing and making consistent use of the different writing spaces that MaxQDA provides. This concludes the video on comments. Please return to the chapter, read about another component, and then view the video.